After sending Sam an initial quotation and design, I popped round to his house to do a site survey and discuss everything with him in person. In order to quote accurately, we do like to do a site survey at some point before finalising the quote. This survey isn't essential, so you don't have to have one if you don't want one. And our head of installations will always do a full technical and structural survey later down the line. He's done one for pretty much every project that Spirit Energy has ever worked on. You can watch the video on the technical survey that comes later on in this series if you'd like to learn more about that. On the site survey, we always make sure to take measurements of the roof, both externally and internally in the loft. We also like to have a look at the meter cupboard and the incoming supply, as well as your consumer unit, which will need to be fully RCD protected if you're getting power cup protection with battery storage. One of the main points of discussion on the survey was the cable run, which was very important for Sam as he wanted to preserve the look of the house. As we were going with the Tesla Powerwall 3, we needed to run the DC cables from the solar on the roof back to the Powerwall which was going to be installed just outside the garage door. In order to keep the cable run as neat as possible, we decided to run them down the side alley of the house in a white trunking to match the paint on the wall. The DC cables then ran neatly along the brickwork and into the garage, where they ran along the roof and out the other end into the Powerwall 3's hybrid inverter. You can watch our battery installation video that comes later on in this series to see how the DC runs turned out. Another thing that we discussed on the site visit was bird protection. Now it's hard to know whether you actually need this or not until the system is actually installed. I've seen some solar systems, like the one on my parents' roof, that never have any issues with birds and I've seen other systems that just get decimated by them. Nowadays, you can usually take a look up and down the street and look at someone else's solar system and see if they're having issues with birds. Unfortunately, we couldn't see any solar PV on Sam's neighbouring roofs and he didn't want to take the risk of having pigeons scratching around under the panels, so we decided that it would be best to install bird protection. If you are going to get bird protection, then it's best to install it while the scaffolding is up and the roofers are already on site. We offer two types of bird protection, a black wire mesh and a product called Solar Skirt. The Solar Skirt looks much nicer and adds a nice finish to the system, but it does come with a more premium price tag because the kit cost is higher and it does take longer to install. In the end, Sam did go for the Solar Skirt, which ended up looking really great on his roof and added a really nice finish to the system. We also discussed the shading that would be caused by the chimney and how we might go about mitigating that using our advanced shade modelling, which you can find out more about in the next video.